My grandfather was a gardener, my mom's a big gardener, and I always just was outside a lot. And I actually do it, um, I bind everything up, just sort of drawing it too. You can see a lot of pins and, and things, and it's actually a lot about restriction. So, personal what is restriction? restriction? Personal restriction. I started thinking, because I felt um, I was a mom, I wasn't able to do a whole lot at the point. I thought, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I feel so restricted. And I realized that I was imposing my own restrictions on myself, and I was doing it out of fear of just jumping in and doing it. It was more of a comfort thing. Uh -huh. So, hmm. you know, restriction, you can say, oh, that's awful, but actually, restriction can be really positive. Um, myself um, out of plants and soil. I make paper, um, installation work, some sculpture, so I do lithography, all sorts of stuff. You know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I have <laughs> varied things that I do. This is a painting that actually is done with, um, it's got the soil pigments and the plant pigments that I've done, so it's a combination of them. Uh, this is a sienna type over here, and actually that's sideways, I can turn it around. How long does it take to make a, enough green um, to use in, say, that, that painting? Um, it probably takes me, well, I distill the, I strip off the uh, leaves and put it into an alcohol and then I distill it. <laughs> it's like, like it's like moonshine kind of? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> and um, it takes probably um, two weeks to get it all done and it'll make enough paint for me to do probably this and then one like this. Wow, that's so, beautiful. I do a lot of where I sew the paper. This is mulberry paper. And I just finished a whole series. Um, you take invasive ivy and strip it, um, strip the barks off. There's three different layers. Um, I make some ink with the leaves, um, take the bark and cook it for a while, let it sit, cook it some more, and eventually it gets really fibrousy and everything, but you have to beat it in a Hollander beater, which is a normal thing you use for paper making. Mm -hmm. And then you take the screens and you, you make paper out of a mold, so it's a handmade paper process.